Welcome, builders of the internet! For anybody who is considering doing an apprenticeship, I thought I would talk about my experience, with the interview in particular. I'm a degree apprentice in construction, quantity surveying, so let's begin! Is building on my mind? I commuted to the interview location which gave me some more time to prepare myself for any questions they might ask. So this includes doing some further research on the company, say, the types of projects that they work on, what their website says about their ethos, their values, and the articles that they have written, which helped me understand more of the reasons for why I would want to work there. I also did some research into the job role, so for me, this was a job that I'd never really heard of before, but the details of the job description did really interest me, which is why I applied. Luckily, I had some time as well to have a quick review of what I'd put down on my CV, so I would remember exactly what information I'd already given to the company. I arrived at the general vicinity of the office pretty early, but my sense of direction is terrible, so I was on the right street thanks to Google Maps, but couldn't really figure out how to get inside the building. I think I ended up calling the contact number I'd been given because I was just lost and a little bit stressed to be honest because it was looking like I was going to end up being late but once I eventually got in, luckily I was met with some pretty friendly people and they gave me some forms to fill out. My hands were shaking as I was filling out these forms because I was just so nervous but I went to the bathroom and gave myself a few minutes to calm down. I waited for about 10 minutes before I was called into the interview, which felt like possibly one of the longest 10 minutes of my life. But once I got called in, they asked me, I think, some pretty standard questions. So for example, they asked how my journey there was, they asked a bit about my work experience, and truth be told, I didn't have any relevant work experience in the construction industry. So they followed this up by asking, you know, why the sudden interest in construction? This was a bit of a difficult question to answer, I think, on the spot, but I just talked about the elements of the job description that was given in the job listing that really interested me, and then spoke about some of the transferable skills that I'd gained from my other part-time jobs and work experience that I thought were relevant. Probably the most iconic part of the interview for me was when they asked me, do you know what a quantity surveyor is? And I just straight up told them the truth, really. I told them I've done some research on my way here but haven't really heard of the job description much before applying to the job and they were okay with this and pretty understanding so for the next five or ten minutes of the interview they were just talking to me about what exactly a quantity surveyor was and what I might be doing. Then they started talking about the potential degree that I would be getting and brought in somebody from HR who knew more about the process that I would have to be going through and they highlighted that for me it would be quite a quick process because I would have to submit the application, get accepted and start attending university within a matter of weeks. One question which you may get in a degree apprenticeship interview, which I definitely did, was they asked me why I wanted to go via this route instead of going to university. I think I was personally quite careful in my answer to not make too much of an emphasis on the obvious financial elements of why I would do an apprenticeship instead, but I gave some more of the reasons which were reflected on my CV. So for example, I said I really loved working on the side of studying and I had a part-time job in some form from the age of 13, so doing a degree apprenticeship would be perfect for me because I'm eager to learn and love having on-the-job experience because I felt it was one of the best ways for me to become better at doing stuff. They asked some follow-up questions about, you know, long-term plans, I guess to see if I'd be a good long-term investment for the company too. I forget exactly how the conversation led here, but according to my colleagues, it's a pretty common topic in job interviews for this company because the partner who asks those questions is obsessed with it. So they then asked me, do you like football? I have very limited interest in football and was kind of thrown off by the question, but I told them how members of my family liked it and how my cousins wanted to do it professionally. But yeah, I think this helped give both them and myself some insight for what the company culture was like and whether I would be fitting in. So we talked about some other sports that I was into and some of the more regular activities that I could take part in. 
And that brings me to the end of my interview. To be honest, when I left, I wasn't really sure what to think. I mean, I was proud of myself because I made it to the end and that we had some more friendly conversation with the football. But with me being me, I was kind of kicking myself over the stupid things that I'd said, you know, like openly admitting that I didn't really understand what a quantity surveyor was and so on. But I got a call or email from them a week later, which offered me the job and I was really pleased about this. So here I am. Advice. Here is some advice that I would give to help those who may be wanting to prepare for an interview. So one, doing your research is key. Make sure to prepare for any questions that you may be asked and that you at least have a clue about what you're applying for and why you want the job. So number two, I know everybody says to arrive early, which I agree with, but I would also just add to factor in the extra time for figuring out how to enter the building or maybe go there in advance of your interview day to make sure that you're more familiar with the setting and maybe to get a sense of the dress code of the people in there so that you can fit in better. Number three, don't be afraid of being honest, but I would also just recommend being on the more optimistic side of honesty. So for example, when I didn't have relevant work experience, I put a positive spin on it saying, you know, the skills that I've developed from my past experiences would be helpful. Number four, have some questions to ask the company. This is where I probably lacked the most, but if you ask some good questions to the interviewers, it can help show your inquisitive side and that you have given a lot of consideration about the job. And finally, number five, practice doing interviews in advance. It helps to be in that kind of setting with people you're more comfortable and familiar with say, for example, doing it with your family and friends in advance, because it can make you feel more relaxed and adequately prepared for when it comes to the real thing. I didn't really do this and only had a couple members of family and friends give me some potential questions over the phone or something, which wasn't really enough because I was super nervous in my interview. So if you can, you know, try to video call them or emulate the interview experience in person. That's all I have to say for now. I hope it helped build on your mind. Thanks for watching this channel. It's building on my mind. Check out my other videos. But first, hit the bell and comment, like, subscribe. Please, it really helps with you.